Good evening. You are watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. His Excellency, the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, takes part in the first ministerial meeting on promoting freedom of religion around the world in Washington. The Petroleum Development Oman signs 10 Memoranda of Understanding for Social Investment Projects. The contribution of the agriculture and fisheries wealth sector in the Sultanate's gross domestic product is increased. And the Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs stresses that the work related to the details and data of the Sultanate's pilgrims are completed. Those were the headlines now for the news in detail. His Excellency Yusuf bin Alawi bin Abdullah, Minister Responsible for Foreign Affairs, met in Washington with Paul Ryan, Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives. His Excellency is, Excellency is taking part in the first ministerial meeting on promoting freedom of religion around the world in Washington. The meeting stems from the strong Omani-U.S. historic relations extending to long decades. The two sides discussed issues of common concern. They also stressed the importance of continuing the bilateral work between the Sultanate and the United States of America in various fields as well as international and regional files. The ministerial meeting on promoting freedom of religion around the world, which will be concluded later today, seeks to confront the legal challenges of religious freedom, protect equal rights of individuals in one state, preserve the cultural heritage of old beliefs, and provide support and care for victims of violence and religious oppression around the world. Petroleum Development Oman PDO signed today 10 Memoranda of Understanding MOUs for social investment projects totaling more than 3.5 million Omani Rials. The MOUs were signed in an official ceremony presided over by Her Excellency Dr. Mediha bint Ahmed Shaybani, Minister of Education. Our reporter Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi has more details in the following report. Petroleum Development Oman PDO signed 10 memorandums of understanding for social investment projects totaling more than 3.5 million Omani Rials. The MOUs aim to benefit Omani communities across the company's concession area through social investment initiatives in different fields, including education, safety, infrastructure, and non-governmental organization support. The one which we, we signed, Minister of Transport, it's a safety, a road safety um, uh, issue which will, uh, will, hel will help us. Uh, and this will, will take place, uh, the road between Adam and uh, Qarn al-Alam. Uh, hopefully we want to see this uh, in, in different areas also, uh, which will, um, it's, it's a new technology, um, um, used, uh, um, uh, no electricity, nothing, it's just by the sun. So hopefully we'll see uh, these uh, uh, in a different area, inshallah. The MOUs include constructing 12 wings for female students in seven schools in Al-Wusta, one in Adakhiliya and four in Dufar. They also include supplying specialist equipment to the Oman Association for the Disabled, renovating a rehabilitation center for disabled children in the Wilaya of Adam, and supporting the activities of the Special Olympics Oman for two years. We had the opportunity to really sign 10 MOUs that are focused on sustainability, how we help the community succeed in areas of education, public majlises, health, camel racing, whatever we can do to help the communities, disabled communities, how can we ensure they succeed? If they do, we will succeed. That's essentially the simple commitment that we have, and it was a pri privilege to have everyone today celebrate those, um, those signings. In addition, the MOUs include supporting the construction of two public majlises in Agarit and Rabab in the Wilaya of Shalim, and funding the renovation of the camel race track in Haima. Besides, they involve backing the expansion and renovation of Falaj al Washhi at Al Kharma and Falaj al Qaswat in Izki, and installing solar self lit reflectors to cover the 320 kilometer Adam Thamrait Road. 
Such social investment programs contribute towards the progress and sustainability of various sectors in the country. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh Bakalfan al Rahbi, Masqat. The economic diversification plan succeeded to increase the agriculture sector's contribution to the gross domestic product to over 300 million Omani rials last year with a growth rate of 5.1%. Likewise, fishery sector contributed in the national income achieving a self-sufficient ratio of 200%. In line with the government's vision to support means of diversifying the sources of national income, it established Oman Investment Food Holding Company to make strategic investments and development plan in the field of food industry. In this regard, four food companies were established specializing in dairy and meat processing industries. Meanwhile, there is a joint venture established between Oman Flour Mills Company and some foreign investors for egg production. The Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs stressed that it had completed works related to the details and data about pilgrims of the Sultanate and sent this information to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It also said that the pilgrimage companies had also finished obtaining permissions and cards for the pilgrims through the electronic system assigned for this purpose. The number of Omani pilgrims this year amounted to 13,450 in addition to 550 residents. The fifth Hajj rights exhibition commenced today in the Public Authority for Civil Aviation in the Wilayat of Sib. The exhibition included illustration of the services provided by the Omani Hajj delegation for the pilgrims and a step-by-step -step demonstration for the appropriate way to carry out the Hajj rights with a special attention given to the religious and health issues. The exhibition included a special corner for speakers of other language to explain to them the rights of Hajj in their own language. The Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs will organize a series of lectures across the Sultanate on Hajj rights. The Ministry of Defense held today the graduation ceremony for the 14th and the 15th batches for graduates in entrepreneurship under the patronage of the Rear Admiral Shamiz bin Mohammed Al Habsi, Assistant Chief of Staff for Management. The two batches included commissioned and non-commissioned officers from various military and security installations like Sultan's Armed Forces, Royal Guard of Oman and Royal Oman Police. Still to come on News Bulletin. A graduation ceremony for Omani students was held at the University of West England in the UK. عبق فاح بين جنباتها. فنفثت سلاما برائحة لبانها حلقت عاليا نحو السماء فنقشت بأبجدياتها تاريخا جميلا وبكرمها أمست مضربا للأمثال مهرجان صلاة السياحي 2018 من العاشر من يوليو إلى الخامس والعشرين من أغسطس Welcome back to the news from the Sultanate of Oman Television. A new road for the length of 11 kilometers was opened for traffic movement in the Wilaya of Metha in the Governorate of Musandam. It was implemented by the Ministry of Transport and Communication. The open road is one of the vital roads in the Governorate. It connects mountain villages with the city, it saves time and effort and activates social contact and tourism movement in the Wilaya of Metha. The road also connects the Sultanate with the United Arab Emirates.
The Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth and the Raft Fund signed a cooperation agreement on providing some services of the ministry through the electronic portal of Senate Service Centers. It came within the context of electronic transformation plan to ensure and simplify rendering services to beneficiaries in the easiest way via Senate centers in various governorates of the Sultanate. The agreement aims to achieve electronic linkage between the ministry services and the electronic portal of Senate service centers. In order to get acquainted with the Sultanate's experience in the field of national infrastructure of geographical information, the National Center for Statistics and Information received a delegation from the Federal Authority for Competitiveness and Statistics in the United Arab Emirates. The delegation watched a number of presentations that dealt with the geographical information systems and the development of the national structure of spatial data in the Sultanate and services provided to the government bodies and business sector and the public. The visit also dealt with programs and projects being impl implemented by the National Center for Statistics and, for and Information. A group of Omani students who have undergone their bachelor degrees in various areas of engineering studies in Oman have celebrated their graduation ceremony along with their fellow students of the University of West England, UK, the partner university of the GCE. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed al-Rubai. Coinciding with the glorious and blaze renaissance day of the Sultanate Global College of Engineering in Oman, partnered with the University of West England, uh, Bristol, one of the Britain's most uh, popular universities known for having partners across the world, have celebrated their students' graduation for the year 2018. The first group of 13 Omani students who have successfully completed their study program in Oman have joined their fellow students of University of West England at the historical cathedral of this beautiful city of Bristol. The celebration began after the graduating students took their seat at the cathedral stage and the arrival of the university's uh, vice uh, chancellor. Where a number of speeches were presented which highlighted major achievements of the university colleges, staff and students in this and the previous academic years. This momentous and special occasion attended by families and friends and the Oman Educational Attaché at the Sultanate Embassy in the UK, all of whom have graced the occasion in which 13 students received their certificates, seven with a Bachelor of Engineering degree with Honours Electronic and Telecommunication Engineering, and six with the Bachelor of Engineering with Honours Mechanical and Engineering Vehicles Technology. The good uh, collegial and academic cooperation has given the opportunities to these young Omanis to pursue a UK qualification in Oman, the fruits of which uh, this successful venture is realized when hundreds uh, percent of students graduated with their bachelor degrees. The world of happy cannot describe our feeling right now. Uh, we've been studying years in Bristol University through Global University. Today we are celebrating our achievement. I'm so proud to be here today and thank you for GCT for giving me this chance to be one for the graduation for this day. Happy Renaissance Day for all Omanis and I am very happy to be graduated here in UK in UE Bristol University and I wish all the best for all my friends and we are ready to give service to Oman. It is a very happy day today. We are celebrating our graduation in UWE, University of West England. We will make Oman great. I am proud because I am one of the graduates from the University of West England. And today we are celebrating with our achievement. Vice Chancellor commanded the good collegial relations and academic cooperations between the two institutions and he said, so this is a very special day for all of our graduates, but in particular there's a first cohort going through the university from Oman. 
and we are very, very proud of all of those students who've worked incredibly hard and we want to ensure that we grow this relationship. This is a really important part of the future of the university and we also hope for Amman. So I'm looking forward to working even closer with the college and universities to make sure that we open opportunity and that we learn from each other and with each other. During the occasion, we met one of the students from Oman who has completed her full studies in the university. And it's really great to be graduating today from the University First of England in the Renaissance Day of Oman. And I'm really like happy and I cannot say the feelings I do have because it's a pleasure and honor to be graduated as a mechanical engineering from this university. Abdullah bin Ahmed al rubai Sultanate of Oman Television, Bristol, United Kingdom. A Spanish dance troupe performs Blood Wedding and Sweet Flamenca in Lebanon's historic mountain town of Beit Din as part of its annual art festival. More details in the following report. Members of a Spanish dance troupe regaled Lebanese enthusiasts with a new style of flamenco as they performed Federico Garcia Loca's Blood Wedding at the annual Beit Din Art Festival. The first part is a uh, um, version of Bodas de Sangre, Blood Wedding, which is uh, one of the most famous plays of one of our most uh, uh, famous writers, Federico García Lorca, who, although was killed in the year 1936 during our civil war, his works keep on being one of the best um, ways of expressing the Spanish soul. <laughs> Antonio Gates Dance Company is a Spanish dance group founded by legendary choreographer Antonio Gates, which aims to promote flamenco dance as a reflection of Spanish culture. The troupe performed a version of Loca's Blood Wedding, depicting a love story that ends tragically. The show also included eight performances of traditional flamenco. The first part was new for me, it was more intime, um, uh, dramatic. Uh, it was not the kind of flamenco I use, I'm used to, but the second part was of course lighter and more, more enthusiastic. For the show's director and Gates' widow, Eugenia Iris, Blood Wedding reflects the Spanish soul. Beit Din festivals has always made them get used to beautiful and wonderful things about cultures that they need a lot in this region. It was a very beautiful and loud night. The Beit Din festival kicked off last week with a concert by famed Lebanese composer Ziad Rahbani. The festival runs until August 11. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's news bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Excellency, the Minister responsible for Foreign Affairs, takes part in the first ministerial meeting on promoting freedom of religion around the world in Washington. The Petroleum Development Oman signs STEM Memoranda of Understanding for Social Investment Projects. The contribution of the agriculture and fisheries wealth sector in the Sultanate's gross domestic product is increased. And the Ministry of Endowments and Religious Affairs stresses that the works related to the details and data of the Sultanate's pilgrims are completed. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin from all of us here at the newsroom and the studios. Thank you for watching and have a great night.